Welcome to Red Rock Student News. I'm Kayla Thurman, and alongside me is Noah Rudman. Welcome, everybody. Today we're broadcasting at the newly designed courtyard here inside Red Rock's campus. And after months of construction, the final touches are being made. And here to give you the story on Red Rock's new courtyard is student reporter Erica Lomas. One of the many cool things the new courtyard has to offer is an outdoor amphitheater. Students are able to perform on this outdoor stage. It is made up of grass and can seat up to 150 to 200 people. One of the unique parts of, about the, the outdoor amphitheater is that we created a labyrinth, which uh, it's, a, it's a little path where you're able to walk and kind of just get yourself together and bring things all back into perspective. We wanted to set it up where the kids could actually be able to be a part of it and have a place where they can kind of bring their mind, body, and soul back together so they can kind of regroup and think about things. So we've created a, a nice little setting for, for them to, to relax and regroup and get things going. It's, it's more of a, pla a place for relaxation and, and to get back together on things. The courtyard also added two new waterfalls where students can read, relax, write, and meditate. For Red Rock Student News, I'm Erica Lomas. Thanks for the report, Erica. Up next, we take a look at the students and staff who put in the long hours to prepare for Parent Weekend. And later, we look at the new solar panels. Climbing is, is my, my true love outdoors. I was a kid, I was a, an Eagle Scout, and every year we went to Colorado through the, the backwoods of the Rockies, and from that point on, I've just had this love affair with being outside, and, and when I moved up to Utah, then you know, I started rock climbing, and I started mountain biking, and you know that's 15 years ago, and I haven't stopped. <laughs> One of the things that I get to do is I get to provide them with a bunch of different opportunities so that maybe they can pick up a, pick up a habit or pick up a, a skill or pick up a hobby. Being outside is such a non-judgmental area and I, I think that's why you know I can open up and I think that's why the students can open up and I think that's why you, you get to see who they truly are. I have a sense of accomplishment every time I do a hike. Just today we got back from Co-op Canyon and, and it was a um, two mile hike and we hiked up this uh, this canyon and and when I got back I was just, it, the kids felt good about themselves, I feel good about myself, we saw something beautiful and it was a successful activity. Guaranteed success and it's guaranteed good feelings and it's something that is extremely powerful. Welcome back to Red Rock, students. Have you ever wondered how much effort it takes to put on Parent Weekend? I sure haven't thought about it that much, but Shireen Horseman has, and she brings the report on this season's Parent Weekends. Parent Weekends are held four times a year, and with each Parent Weekend, a theme is highlighted to showcase the creativity and talent of Red Rock students. 
And for this parent weekend, Red Rocks chose to go with the peaceful and spiritual people of the Native Americans. Well, this parent weekend will be uh, Native American, okay? I'm trying to take different cultures and so that the, the students can learn different ways of dancing, learn what they wear, and their different arts. So as soon as we're done with the last parent weekend, we start jumping into this parent weekend. I try to make their art the same as the theme, so then it will all go together. Displayed around the walls of the Red Rock campus are various arts and crafts created by students. Each art represents many of the different Native American tribes. We've done scratch art, which right up here you could say. Um, we've done oil, we've done um, pastel. We've taken one picture and made it into three different ones, or maybe two, you know, it all depends. We also made jewelry to sell for Parent Weekend. Um, they tried really hard. So. In Native America, they link themselves to the spiritual world through their dancing, drumming, singing, sweats, and etc. Red Rock students were able to learn these dances through Native American community members who were willing to share their culture. The first one we're going to do is the fancy shawl and it's a more clicker dance. It resembles a butterfly and it's a lot faster than all the other dances and kind of gives you more of a workout. Um, the next one uh, that one of the girls will be doing is a jingle dress dance and um, it's a more traditional dance and it's um, more of a blessing and it's a healing dance and it's it's not too slow but not too it's not that fast of a dance it's right in the middle and then we're also doing a bird singing dance and it's more down south bird singing is more california southern california southern arizona nevada area and um there is where we have gourds and then the guys gourd and they sing and then girls dance in front of them and one of the really powerful things about the drum is that it was told to me, our Mother Earth provides us with, with everything that we need to live here, you know, prior to, prior to European contact and progression and what have you. The Earth fed us and it sheltered us and it provided all our medicinal, medicinal needs. And we as Native people, we don't take things without giving back. We don't take more than our share. We don't take an overabundance. And so whenever we, we bring something from the earth, then we'll give something back. When we sit at the drum, we take a look at some of those concepts and how to calm down, how to respect one another. We treat the drum as our grandpa, as a relation. The, the hides that cover the drum, they come from an animal. And that animal, in turn, fed the people. Before the hunt, we'll pray that this animal, it's at its strongest and we'll pray that we will be at our best in tracking and in bringing this, this source home to, to feed our people and to utilize it in this manner. The drum is circular, whether it's octagon or whatever. You know, if you start at one, one end, you'll end up at the same place. Everything that goes around, it'll come back around. And so we show, we show the respect that it's there to one another. And we sit down and we have to be patient as we learn songs, we have to humble ourselves, we have to open our mind and our, on our hearts to be able to accept and to understand the, the meaning and the significance of songs. All songs are not the same. You know, we have songs for every occasion for every, for, uh, are, that are gender appropriate. In order to sit and sing, it takes patience. I have to be able to humble myself in order to, to learn. For Red Rock News, I'm Shereen May Horston. Thanks for the report, Shereen and we want to acknowledge the cooks for the hard work they put in for Parent Weekends. And up next, we look at the new solar project that powers Red Rock Canyon School. And later, we sit down with Red Rock's new residential director, Chris Clayton. I'm Mike Randall. I'm the uh, equine specialist for Red Rock Canyon School. I work with the girls and boys in their horsemanship program and their equine assisted learning and their equine therapy. I, I enjoy equine therapy because number one, I'm a horse person and all I, I like horses. I've been raised with horses and I like kids and, and uh, 
I get a lot out of it when I see a, a student be successful with the horse and it's their experience and it's their success and they, they can acknowledge that. They understand that they did a great job. Basically, uh, horses are really powerful for, for students because they can learn a lot about themselves through the horse. They can put a lot of their behaviors on the horse. They do a lot of uh, things metaphorically, labeling, a lot of relationship building. Uh, they spend a lot of time being consistent with the horse, being patient with the horse, uh, building trust with the horse. They get a lot of life skills. Number one, you get a lot of, uh, it, from the PPC book, you know, we talk about care and concern. So they, they do a lot of maintenance of the animals, you know, grooming, brushing, feeding, cleaning up behind. So they get a lot of those basic skills, how to saddle their horse, how to ride. Uh, we talk about balance when we ride, is our life in balance? You know, we talk about things that we need to manage, you know, things that are going on. Everything we do at the horse ties back to the student's own behavior and to the student's own life. And it, and it gives them a great uh, opportunity to uh, get off campus and do a lot of work uh, with the horse and learn a lot about themselves. Alternative energy is the wave of the future, and Red Rock Canyon School is jumping on board and by saving energy and going green. Red Rock student reporter Michael Tall tells us all about it. The solar panels that power Red Rock Canyon School has begun generating power in early August, and with the help of government grants, Red Rock Canyon School is officially going green. To go green, we've been wanting to do a lot of different things that creating a more equal, fair, friendly world and uh, we've been doing things uh, like this solar panel. The 205 kilowatts that powers Red Rock Canyon School is measured by a net meter system allowing the extra energy that Red Rock does not use to help power the city of St. George. There's uh, 1,100 total. They're in two different locations. One spans across our north side of our building where all the students sleep in, in their dormitories. And then the other half is uh, positioned across our convention hall or, or, and our dance, dance hall. The solar panels on the roofs are approximately three by five, three feet wide by five feet long. All 1,100 solar panels together produce about twice as much energy as Red Rock Canyon School uses. For Red Rock Student News, I'm Michael Tall. Thanks for the report. Up next, we sit down and meet with our new residential director. Hi, I'm Shalandra, and what you're about to see is an original song written by Rainey and produced by Alan Shelby. Rainey, what's this song all about? Um, it's about my relationship with my parents, especially my dad, and um, how we would fight. And I wanted to, you know, have a good relationship with him, and he would always come after me, you know, after fights and stuff and he tried to make things right and you know I just I just want a good relationship with my dad and I'm trying. Alan what was it like having Rainey in the studio? Well Rainey's a great talent and uh, really a pro prolific uh, songwriter. Um, she didn't play any of the instruments on the song but together we sat down worked out structure and arrangement and choruses and put down some chord progressions and uh, there was a song it was that easy and yeah, she did most of the hard work. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Here is Maybe Now, written by Rainey. I know. It's recording. Thanks. I know that.
Welcome back to Red Rock Student News. I'm Kayla Thurman. I'm Noah Thomas Redman. Another one of our recent changes at Red Rock is the introduction of our new residential director, Chris Clayton. Red Rock student reporter Shalandra G sat down with Chris to share some thoughts on his new job. Residential director is one of the most important jobs at Red Rock Canyon School. Residential directors balance both staff and student needs as a mentor and leader. I got to catch up with our new residential director, Chris Clayton, and ask him details about himself. I uh, graduated from Pineview High School and went uh, straight to Dixie State College and graduated with my associates there. And then I went to Mercer University in Macon, Georgia. And there I graduated with my Bachelor's of Sociology. And I took a, a, I don't know, four or five years off and went through the School of uh, Hard Knocks and Life Lessons. And then I enrolled myself back into the University of Phoenix where I obtained my Master's of Psychology. And now I'm currently enrolled in University of Phoenix's uh, Master's of Mental Health Counseling. Tell us something about you that no one will know. I guess upon first appearance, probably people wouldn't think that I'm a big nerd, uh, but I am. I love to read uh, language and uh, the perception of words and what they mean throughout society is really cool. I love to spend time with my family, fishing, uh, outdoor activities, uh, or just simply watching movies. What advice would you give to the Red Rock students? Uh, that there's always hope. Uh, that uh, no, matter, no matter how hard things are, there's always hope. Um, that the light will shine if you allow it to. For Red Rock Student News, I'm Shalanja G. Thanks for the report, and we wish Chris good luck on his job and welcome him on our team. Well, that will do it for us. I'm Kayla Thurman. And I'm Noah Thomas Rudman. We will leave you with the sights and sounds of Red Rock this summer. Have, Have a, a great, great parent, parent weekend. weekend.